interesting little project recently. <laughs> you flip the pay switch and you don't have to pay for the times and Sunday times. Could you just remind us what the philosophy there was? Because it seems to come from a recognition that you know, display advertising is, is a little bit weak at the moment and you want more surety about where, you, where your bucks are coming from. So, um, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, my name's Gus Hunter. I, I, I run Times Digital and effectively, I think it's a little bit more than just the paywall and the internet piece as well. We've also launched the iPad edition. I think that's quite an important part of the sort of the platforms that we're sort of uh, producing on. I mean, it, it's a really simple thing. You know, it's quite obvious to any newspaper publisher that the sustainability of journalism is an issue. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm suffering a little bit wrong with that. Yeah, you know, we're sort of in that position where, you know, I, I don't know any of the sort of newspaper publishing groups that haven't reduced our staff numbers over the last two to three years. Um, that's sort of directly linked in many ways with, with you know, the, the drop in circulation, but then also the issues associated with advertising the last two to three years. Um, so we sort of made the decision to actually go for a subscription payment model. The concept is quite simple, and I think you know, sometimes it gets sort of clouded in ideology, and it gets kind of clouded in trying to explain this very simple, which is journalism has value. That's it. And it, you know what that price point is, and what that value is, and what you do within that process is all secondary to that sort of simple position, which is that, that you know, journalism has value. And, it, and it's quite sort of strange how you know people would be willing to pay for a newspaper in the sense, and people are willing to pay for iPhone apps or iPad apps as well, which we you know which we know to be true, and, 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 and you know you can see that on the FT as well. But every time you sort of mention paying for actually a website. It's treated as if you, know, you sort of sacrifice the sacred cap. It can't. It can't. It shouldn't be that as a basic principle because it's not sustainable. Really. I should have added, by the way, that um, you know this is we're looking for interactions here. So um, there should be two roving mics uh, by the side for comments and interjections throughout. And if not, that have a mic up here too. So just just raise your hand. But uh, so I was wondering about what 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 Goethe has been the effect on our ad sales then, and how you approach that. Because from, from a cursory glance at the site, the, the, the display ad um, volume ad has gone down a lot. It's virtually disappeared. But you do you do have um, advertorial type content that's yeah. a lot more prominent. I, th I mean, I don't think it's virtually disappeared. I mean, in fact, I know it's not. Um, you know, you, there's no questions once you go behind a paywall that you can have less audience. And if you're going to stick to the mechanic, which is associated with <coughs> click-through rates and various other bits and pieces, then the two models don't effectively work. You know, the, the whole point of giving a subscription model in place was, was effective to get to ensure a consumer pay for a, value, for a true value for journalism. In the world. So, but what you do get is a very, very focused audience. You get a, a, an audience that's, that's actually highly more engaged than, than within the free site. Um, you know, so, so, so from our perspective, the advertising yields are quite interesting without necessarily, and, 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 you know, it's quite odd. I'm in a position where I can't really go through numbers whether it's in relation to, to uh, you know, subscriptions or in terms of advertising as well, because that's a large corporate discussion piece as well. But you know, we're, we're quite confident of our relationship with advertisers. Um, what's also quite transparent I mean, aside from the website side is the iPad side. There's no questions that the yields associated with the iPad advertising are much more significant than the sort of you know, CPM type rates and mechanic that you have within, within the website. So it's a blended model, it will be a blended model. We're relatively early. We're the first uh, um, national newspaper or general interest newspaper to go the able. Are we early? Yes. Do we believe that there's an advertising model within this? Yes. Do we believe that there's a, a subscription type model within this? Yes. It's a blended model. So I was looking through News International's 2009 earnings this morning, and, and there was a line in it that says, um, over time we expect a greater proportion of our revenue to be derived from direct relationships with our readers building on the strength of our traditional re uh, retail newspaper distribution model. How do you do that? Well, you, I mean, one is there are paying mechanics that have a position like you know, the article stores and the iPad piece of platforms and other. The second part to this is that you know, there's obviously the payment mechanic associated with the website. The third element is that, that you know, we've significantly pushed on, to, on, on something that you sort of mentioned, which is something called Times Plus, which is, uh, you know, which is much more about offering services and, and sort of tailored services for a community as well. And we have a decent amount of sign up, of, you know, very decent amount of sign up within that as well. So that's already happening. And then the Times Plus feature has been running for quite a while as well. 
um, you know, we're at a point, as I think particularly in these international news corporation in general, where we're looking at an evolution point. We're looking at a point to actually move on from, as opposed to staying effectively stagnant in, uh, and sort of living with the challenges that everybody else has as well. So we're looking at multiple platforms, we're looking at multiple dimensions of content, we're talking about multiple relationships with our consumers, which goes from one consumer content to second, <coughs> secondly effectively to the sort of services that we have with the tunnels prospects as well. And you wouldn't like to share any uh, early stats with us? Just I, I would like to share early stats, I'm not allowed to. Go on. <laughs> Are you happy with, with how it's going? Um, look, I mean, the answer... <laughs> I can't say no. Oh, actually, to, to be honest, the answer to that is yes. I mean, you know, I'm not... You know, when, when we sort of looked at the targets and the various bits and pieces that we were putting together, you know, what model did you follow? You know, we obviously have a very close relationship with Wall Street Journal, we understand what they've done, we understand how it's worked, we understand what that sort of construct is in there in relation to, 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 to sort of paint stuff. There's lots of conjecture around these other things as well. So the answer to that question, I was struggling with it because I wanted to say yes, but I know that that will always require a qualification to a certain extent as well. So, so you know, I'll be happy with where we are, yes, is the answer. Um, you know, you now have maybe a different kind of relationship on, to, on the Times website with readers than you did in the past because they're now customers. And could you talk to me about about what you have to do to service that relationship? Because I know, for example, you have a twenty four seven live customer service chat. Yeah. You let you let new readers, uh, new subscribers, subscribe over the telephone, not just the website. Yeah. Are, are these new skills that you had to develop? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have a customer service team that's tailored. How you treat somebody who consumes, you know, consumes what you you put out there for free, versus somebody who's actually made the commitment to pay. Within any service industry, is is always a difference. And I think the point you just made is quite interesting. But, you know, I think what what we're talking about is something that news, the news of the world has just done. So the news of the world in the last couple of days has just gone behind uh, the payment mechanic. And one of those ways to be able to pay is that you can pay by mobile phone by text message. Um, you know. One of the reasons, I mean, that fits into the consumer group that, that we believe will consume something like the news of audience, it's, it's the ability to purchase very quickly, and all of those sort of mechanics. You know, we all work with use Amazon and, and the walk click purchase or the iTunes <coughs> mechanic. It's simple, it works. We just have to try and replicate some of those things. Really. Um, so, technology you know, is a big challenge. I mean, we are a media technology company now. I don't think any media company can just be a media company anymore. So, you know, when you get into the game of technology development and software development, whether it's on the iPad or the payment systems or anything else as well, it's always a challenge for media companies. But yeah, you know, we meant to stick with it. Yes, people talk about you know loyalty and engagement as, as being important concepts. Um, I think one of the projects you have to satisfy that is the Times Plus, which is sort of it's 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 a many benefits program where you, you get discounts on theatre tickets and so on. But it's also the underpinning to the entire paywall platform, isn't it? Could you could you talk about how Times Plus figures in the project? The Times Plus piece is, I mean, it, it's the one identity on the customer. You know, it's whether you're a consumer from for, for the services element or, or you know theatre tickets, or you're a, you're a consumer who's bought, bought a subscription. The whole idea is that, that what we would like to do is understand bad touch between consumers. And if, if we have some news on the iPad or some news on the Time Plus, we can just buy a newspaper by subscription. We want to sort of share one identity so we start to understand their consumption patterns, what they're doing, and, and effectively offer them goods and services that are a little bit more tailored in that sense. Is Times Plus then the, the thing that you use to, to offer member benefits, incentives to subscribe, or do you also see it as a retail platform in its own right? Does, I mean, does it sell stuff, or is it only providing incentives? No, no, it, I mean, it absolutely sells stuff. It, it, Times Plus was there before the paywall was there. So, so in a sense, it's an extension of that platform, but, but it, you know, it, it has its own identity, it has its own brand. Um, the underlying sort of relationship and mechanic and the identity of that individual is then shared across all the pieces. Okay, I wanna, on the topic of loyalty and engagement, I want to bring in um, John Butler from Dunhamby. Um,